What's up guys? My name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and I just wanted to say thanks for all the support that you guys have given me over the years. It's really appreciated. You guys are a fantastic audience. In today's video I'll be showing you where to find four hidden lore books. Each one of these books can be sold for 1,000 gold to the librarian in the College of Winterhold. So all four books will net you an easy 4,000 gold. And if you're interested in the Snow Elves, you will love these books from a lore perspective. You will find that they're all written in the Falma language, making them among the oldest books available in Skyrim. And I'll tell you more about what this strange writing says at the end of the video. But for now, let me show you where to find them. We must come here on the map to the Forgotten Vale. You'll come to this location during the Dawnguard questline. And if you don't know how to start that questline, just check out my guide on how to do it in the description. No Once the here though, we'll be It'll starting be from the Way Shrine of Sight. You'll have to unlock all of these Way Shrines as you progress through the main Dawnguard questline. So don't worry if you've not seen them yet or you don't know where they are. But you're going to want to head towards this arch in the distance. The first volume is probably the easiest of the collection to find. In fact, it could even be why you searched this video into YouTube. We're just going to head straight through this valley here, and you'll happen upon a chest to your right. I've actually already picked up this particular volume, but it will be here next to this chest when you arrive. So to get the next book, we're going to need to follow the river upstream to the right here. And we're going to need to use the Paragon Portal, which is located over here if you follow where I'm going up this hill. This is perhaps the most annoying volume to get, because you'll need to use the Emerald Paragon. If you don't have that yet guys, just check out my guide in the description on how to get all the Paragon gems. Each gem will actually take you to a different treasure room, and you can get them all here in the Forgotten Vale. So once you arrive guys, just select the emerald gem and put that inside the portal and then just use the portal and it will take you to a river. We're just going to follow this river to the right downstream. And at the end you'll find a chest and a collection of enchanted weapons, next to which will be the second volume of the unknown books. Now to get volume 3 we are going to need to start from the Shrine of Resolution. This is a little shortcut so just head up the mountain, jump over these rocks here and we can head up the mountain over the crest. And if you keep going guys, you'll eventually come past these ore veins just here. After you pass over the top of the mountain, you'll see a stone bridge up ahead. You're going to want to go across that bridge. We're now just going to follow this zigzag path over to this sneaky Falmer hut. Within the Falmer Hut, you'll find the third volume, another 1000 gold. Okay, so for volume 4, the final volume, you need to start from this cathedral like building. You cannot miss this, you come here during the main quest line. And if you want to come back, just go to the Shrine of Radiance, just over there in the distance. Once you're here, though, just turn around and go through this gap next to the bridge. You may want to just save your game here, guys, because you're going to need to be quite careful as you drop down this rocky cliff. You can also go around the long way, but this is much faster, so I'm just going to show you like the most direct way there. I've also once again killed all the enemies in this area just to make this video faster for you guys to watch.
but once you're at the bottom, you'll need to follow the path through the Ewok village. Like I am. Once you pass through, you'll see a large hut with a mammoth skull on top of it. Go inside and we'll find the last volume of the book. Volume 4. So once you've picked that up, we're going to fast travel back to the College of Winterhold in Skyrim, where we're going to sell these. Once you're here, you're just going to want to go to the library area to speak to the Orc. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Any interest in ancient Falma tomes? Well, well. I haven't seen one of these beauties in a long time. A rare find in the original Falmer language. You're damn right I'm interested. Question is, are you selling? Depends on how much you're paying. Well, considering no one else in Skyrim would buy something they couldn't possibly read, I'd say you don't have much of a choice. Tell you what, you bring me books like this, and I'll pay a thousand gold each. I'll even throw in a translated edition I have for free. Interested? Deal. Here you go. He will actually give you 1,000 gold for each of them, even though the game says he gives you 1,000 gold in that top left corner. So you'll actually get 4,000 gold plus the translated versions of each of the tomes. Now the tomes are very interesting books to read lore-wise. As I said at the start of the video, They've all been translated by Kausimo, who lives in Markov, and you actually meet him in the Thieves Guild questline. So, Volume 1, and as you may have guessed by looking carefully at the Falmer version of this book, the way it's sort of arranged, it's actually a poem. And this poem tells us the very sad story of how the Snow Elves became Falmer. Now, for those of you that don't know the backstory here, the Snow Elves were actually on the verge of extinction during the war with the Nords in the Mythic Era. So a very long time ago before the Civil War in Skyrim. So the Snow Elves were forced to take refuge with the Dwemer. They had nowhere else to go. Sadly though, the Dwemer tricked them and they became what we see them as today. The blind skulking creatures of the darkness. The second book though is actually a journal of a Snow Elf. And this journal is dated probably around the Battle of Motoring, after the Night of Tears. And it describes how his dad dies and how they resorted to asking the Dwemer for aid. Then Volume 3, Another Diary. This journal recounts of the harrowing and tragic tale of the survival of one snow elf in the aftermath of the war with the Nords. It gives us some details and sheds a bit of light on how the snow elves were hiding underground and seeking refuge with the Dwemer. Finally though, we have the final book, Book 4, and this story actually tells us the trial a Snow Elf would face in order to reach the Chantry of Auriel, which is that big cathedral building I showed you earlier on in, in the video. It says that the individual would be required to travel to different way shrines with an urn that they'd fill with water at each shrine. According to this text, it describes it as a very, very difficult journey. And it's actually the journey that you have to take as the Dragonborn to obtain Oriel's bow during the quest Touching the Sky, which is the same name as this book. Now, I've got a very interesting thing. I want to hear your guys, your opinion on this, this perspective. So, these are translated books, right? And the Falmer versions of these books exist in the game. Now, if I was really, really keen, I guess I could look at the Falmer language and compare it to the English language here and then say, okay, well, that, that symbol means this word, or, like, try and make some kind of sense of it. Because you can do the same thing if you look at the dragon language in Skyrim. Like, each syllable and, like, um, word translates to something in English. So you can actually formulate a language from the word walls and what the dragon language means. So what I'm trying to say is that it would be really cool if there was a fifth volume of this book that hadn't yet been translated and it was just like left up to fans to translate the Falma language and you could like discover some secret lore or something about like how the snow elves are actually still living in a certain part of Tamriel or something something crazy you know I think that would be really cool if like Bethesda could do that like they could just add something into the game that 
a fan has to go to the effort of translating using the information that they've made available. Like, I love stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. I think it would really take the game to the next level. What do you guys think about that? Is that a good idea? That would be really cool, I think. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for those of you that are supporting me on Patreon. It allows me to keep this series of videos going. And in fact, I've now started a new channel, which is pretty much for those of you guys that like my Let's Plays videos where I actually play other games as well. And if you guys are interested in supporting me financially, I'd really appreciate it if you do check out my Patreon page below. But thanks very much for watching, guys. My name is ESO, and I will see you in the next video.